Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be unboxing and setting up an air quality sensor which is made specifically for outdoor called the Air Aquino. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So that's the power brick you get for it. Get some mounting hooks and some screws. manual and finally the sensor itself it's got a nice little planet watch logo on there as well got a mounting arm on there so that'll be connected to wherever you want on the side of your building uh, as high up as possible preferably on the back end of it there'll be a serial number just here you're going to need that when you're setting it up but yeah overall pretty decent quality obviously with it being outdoor it's weatherproof you get nine meters of cable with it as well that's sort of one side of the connector which connects to the power brick so you can either get it through a brick wall or just depends wherever you're going to have it mounted so that's about it really it's got a couple of little fins there on the top the bar itself is made out of metal uh, it just screws onto this you can actually unscrew this as well if you wanted it just have it flat on a balcony top or tabletop wherever you want but I'm going to be mounting it on the side of a wall so I'm going to leave this on so let's go ahead and set this up on the app so there's a couple of ways you can set this up uh, but this is probably the easiest way of doing it what you need to do is make sure you've got Algorand wallet app installed on your phone so what I would suggest is to keep this separate from any other sensors or uh, licenses you've already bought. So what you should be doing is just going into the app and create a brand new account specifically just for the Air Queen. Or. So all you need to do is go into the app, add account and then just do create a new account and make sure you note down the 25 um, special words that you get when you create this account. So once you've got the um, wallet set up, what you need to do is send some Algorand over to the wallet because it's going to need that as some transaction fees when you're adding bits and pieces. Then the next thing you need to do is add the Planet Asset. So you can just go to a new Asset and type in Planet. It's already on mine, but then you go ahead and add that and that'll use a little bit of the Algorand to basically add it to your wallet. Okay, so that's all set up. The sensor isn't in the wallet just yet. So what you need to do next is go to the Planet Watch website and submit an Air Queen activation request. Let's go ahead and do that. So on the Planet Watch website, go on there and select Air Queen activation, which is that one there. You'll need your email address. The Air Queen device ID is the one printed underneath the Air Queen itself. So you need to enter that, it'll be something like that, Air Q and then three digits. Uh, owner email, again if it's yourself just put that in there or somebody else's. So the next bit is the owner wallet. So the wallet will be the Algorand address of what we've just set up, that new wallet. So there'll be a long address on there, so copy and paste that into there. Infrastructure email, don't need that. Subject, you can just say Air Queen or request. Uh, just say thank you in there, there's nothing much you need to enter your details and then just submit the ticket. So once you've submitted the ticket, that'll go to Planet Watch. Maybe in a day or two, they'll respond and give you an asset ID. So once you've got your asset ID, you need to go back into the Planet Watch app. Okay, so here we are back in the Planet Watch app. So go up to your wallet and do add new asset. In there, you want to click on all and then enter the asset ID that Planet Watch would have sent you in the email and it'll basically have the Air Queen or sensor there. Click on add and then I'll just say, do you approve the sensor? Click on approve and that's it. And it should basically add that sensor to your wallet. Soon as the um, sensor's added, all you need to do is just reply to the email that Planet Watch sent you and just say done. And that'll just let them know that you've added the sensor to your wallet. And then there's one last stage that they need to do their end to activate the sensor. And that's it, you're done. So the next step is just to go ahead and install the sensor outside somewhere. Okay, so there we go. That's the sensor installed. As always, I'm going to show you the power consumption of this unit. So it's all plugged up. It's all operational. 
sending streams and this is how many watts it consumes when it's in full operation so only 2.5 to 2.6 watts very impressive so let's just flick over to amps almost 0.05 amps of power so there you go hope you like this video please subscribe like and i'll see you savages on the next one